Hello everyone, this is Zephyr here, and welcome back to Monster Hunter World Iceborne on PC. In this video, we're going to be taking on a new assigned quest that we have to take on two tempered monsters, the tempered Brachydeos and the tempered Glavinus. Uh, so the client is the field team leader. This assignment is only for the few heroic hunters who can handle the rigors of being a true master hunter. Show everyone what you're capable of. Completing this quest unlocks the master rank cap limit. Alright, so this is going to honestly be a pretty rough quest. Um, because our armor can't be augmented yet, so tempered monsters still hit really hard. On top of that, um, Brachydios is relatively tough for me. I don't. I, I love the monster, but I'm not good at fighting it at all. Glavinus isn't so bad. I make some mistakes against him sometimes, but it's not, uh, it's not too bad. Alright, I prepared the last, at the end of the last video, so we can just take off. Alright, I don't know which one we're gonna fight first, it's just gonna be whoever we run into. And honestly, we're probably gonna go for captures, just to minimize how much time we have to fight these guys. Because they're going to be a nightmare. Oh, Bracky Dios it is. Now the question is, can I pick up... Yeah, there we go. Let's see our torch. See, this is the crap. Freaking gonna roar to stagger me. Oh my god. Are you... Just for, uh... <sighs> well, this is a faint already. This is not going well. Look at this. I can't do anything at the moment. That glavinous roar just completely effed over this entire quest. Oh my god, Clutch Claw, please. Wow, okay, so Clutch Claw is garbage. Can't get onto anything's face. Normally I don't even Clutch Claw directly. Oh my god, and I didn't take up. I hit the button, and it didn't take them off. I hit the freaking button, and it didn't take them off. Okay, well. This entire quest is warped. I'm, I'm so mad. That Glavinous. Uh, roar completely after the entire quest. So he roared, which got me hit, which led to me getting hit over and over, which led to me not being able to take the dung pods off even though I hit the freaking button, which led to this. So, yeah. Not in a good mood at the moment now because of this, which means I'm probably going to screw up the quest somehow. Like, I didn't want to put my Temporal Mantle on immediately, and I had to because we were getting screwed over. Picked up Blast Scourge somehow, so great. try and be more positive. I know it's probably really annoying to have me complaining all the time, but 
The last two videos I've just had really, really bad luck with some stuff. It's just, it's frustrating. Oh, that was all me. I don't know how I screwed that up. again. That attack is so cool, but it's such a pain because dodging it is not easy. Ah, oh, frickin' hell, he backstabbed last second. And Blast Scourge again. Backstep that these stinking monsters get. I'm so bad at dealing with it. It's why I have so much trouble with Brachidios. It's because of that stupid backstep that he does. Yeah, I'm glad I Superman dove. for Gastodon because of Brachidios. Some bullshit right there. I don't know what the hell exploded, but thanks. And that doesn't count as a wall because reasons. Sweet. Oh, well, live and learn, I guess. Seriously, get Blast Scourge again. No, I'm all trying to run away because I have Blast Scourge, I get hit. I don't know why I'm so bad at Brachydeos, I just am. And it stinks because I'm trying to like be positive because I'm having fun. But the worst thing is I think that everyone thinks I just don't have fun with this because I sound so negative, but I'm having fun. It's just, it's tough, and so it's a little frustrating, but it's a good frustrating. It's not like, this game sucks frustrating, it's just, oh crap, this game is difficult frustrating. So all it takes is one little mistake, and boom, you're in trouble. So what you saw when I like got blasted while trying to clutch claw, that right there is why I generally don't clutch claw on Brachidios. Because unlike mounting, you take damage while you're clutched. And those ex stupid slime explosions will hit you, and they will do damage, and they will make you sad inside because you'll fall off the clutch. I 
actually worked out really well. I don't generally get good clutches on him like that. Ooh, tails off. I didn't expect to be able to do that on this quest. That is unfortunate for me because I'm in a bad placement. Hey, I tell you. Honestly surprised he's not licking his hands. That went a lot longer than I expected too, Jesus. There it is. Now he's getting on more slime. scary to see coming running at you. Weak, he's coming back. Okay, that's fine too. We're gonna go cap him in a moment. Like I said, uh, I want to minimize the battles, so we're just gonna do the safe thing and capture monsters. That was rough, uh, but it wasn't too bad because obviously we've gotten him to the point where he's almost dead. Let him go up to his little spot. sleep. Perfect. Uh, oops. Okay, that takes care of Bracky. So now we can go after Glavinus. Now, next.
Phoenix Tempered Monster. Honestly, the difficult part of this quest is over. Uh, Bracky's what I was afraid of. I'm not really worried about Glavinus. His tail's already off. Because I'm a beast. Oh, that's not fun. If you're tempered, that would hurt a lot. give up another skill, so I'm not having it. Alright, Glavinus Tail Edge. Oh, he's going up there, huh? That's nice, because that means we can drop the uh, crystal shards on his head. No, I carved the tail, because I got the Tail Edge, right? Yeah, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Am I not close enough? Oh, come on. I still love that they made the crystal burst blue now and make them easier to see. Stupid piece. Freaking hate Gajalaka sometime. Freaking put me to sleep. Big bags. At least, I guess at least now they're putting him to sleep, which gives me a second to sharpen and stuff. Still, that's some crap.
so we'll go after him in a moment. Also, if my voice is quieter in some of these videos, it's because it's nighttime and the fiance's asleep, and I am recording when she's asleep, and I don't want to wake her up. So I'm trying to be relatively quiet so I don't disturb her. I will turn up the gain when I edit the videos, but I don't know how much I can turn it up without it completely affecting audio quality, so uh, if I'm quiet, I'm sorry. But fiance's uh, sleep is a little more important than being perfectly loud for a video. Comfort kind of trumps you guys. Sorry, it's just true. Aw, someone's weak. Cool. Get to go captain now, and then this quest will be over. Which means we'll have some time for some more guiding lands. Yay! monsters I fought last time so that I don't forget. But he didn't go to sleep for the day. funny, I have a ridiculous amount of Paolumu Guiding Lance materials, but I honestly don't remember fighting Paolumu on camera. So I hope I actually have, because I'm under the assumption that I must have because of how much material I have. But I, I just I keep thinking, I'm like, when did I fight a Paolumu on camera? When did I fight it in the Guiding Lance? I don't remember doing that. But apparently I did. I know I did Nightshade Paolumu as well, but... The only monster that I have on my list that I don't remember fighting in the Guiding Lands is Palumu. I must have at some point. There's no way I'd have like 40 sub of its material from it just being around during other hunts. So I had to if I just don't don't remember doing it. Pallium. It is Brachydeos Pallium. Nice. So that's nice. We did get good rewards at least and since we got that Pallium. And another stone thrower type level 4 decoration. That's pretty worthless. Hunter rank 473. The Guiding Lands region level cap has been removed. So now we can take Guiding Lands areas to level 6. Which is nice. Master rank is now 71. 
because our master rank cap has been removed. And just fighting those two tempered monsters greatly increased our master rank. Alright, do we have any exclamations? No. Alright, then let's turn in our bounty. There's nothing worse than being wasteful. Shame it's so much fun. Mrs. Pop? I don't know what that means. Let's hear your report as soon as you manage to thaw out. Alright, full of our ancient ath. Which I knew I had done. Don't need anything there. Alright. There's our Bracky Dio's friend. Try hard, will you? I'll see I'll see to a personally that any hunters who aid our research by capturing live specimens get a nice bonus for their trouble. Alright. Let's see if we can upgrade our uh, Brachydios longsword. I mean, I know it's still not that useful, but it would be nice to upgrade it. Oh. The old man might seem like he's missing a few bolts, and I ain't talking about his steamworks either, but in all honesty, he has a, has a furious talent. He's versed in architecture, design, manufacturing, modification. There's not much you can't throw at him. I've stared into the flames long enough to burn away most of my sight, but I still can't hold a candle to that Wyverian wizardry he does. Alright, where's my Brachydeos weapon? There it is, but I still can't upgrade it. I didn't need a Pallium, I need more slime. Oh, and Azure Rathalos those parts. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Alright, let's see. Let's upgrade, or not upgrade, let's manage our materials here. And then we'll go see what's going on in the Guiding Lands now that our cap has been removed. Is there anything good out there? Ooh, an Elder Dragon. Um, hmm, do I want to fight a Kirin? You know what, why not? Actually, was that a Rado Ban? Alright, we're gonna go after the Rado Ban actually. Um, while I am interested in taking on the Kirin, um, I'm more interested in raising the Rotted region right now. And why am I going this way? I need to go this way. I'm more interested in raising the Rotted region right now, so I'm going to go after the Rado Ban, who is weak to Dragon and Ice, so I guess I'll just keep my Ice Weapon on for now. That's fine. Uh, let's eat up, and then we'll head out there. And if you're wondering, yes, part of the reason I'm more interested in Rado Ban is because I just really don't feel like fighting Kieran. I, I'm sorry, I just don't. Kieran annoys the living heck out of me, and I just don't feel like having that frustration just before I go to bed. So, um, I think Rado Ban will be a better monster to go and hunt. So Rado Ban it is. And I know we fought a Rado Ban on camera before, so I should probably should go after the Kirin, but um Actually, you know what we could do? Let me see what we have for optional like lures. If we have something I wanna hunt in the lures, we may do that. And obviously all this fog is because there's a never mind. Take it back. It's a tempered Rado Ban. We're gonna go hunt that. Perfect. I don't feel bad anymore. We haven't fought one of those. So that will be new. Yes, an Elder Dragon would be nice to take on. It absolutely would. Um, but... It, like I said, I'm just not in the mood for taking on a Kirin right now. We'll do one one day, but just not today. So as I mentioned, we can now get our Guiding Lands up to level 6. I can kind of prove that by, if we look at, uh, you can now see that our Coral Highlands is over level 5, whereas it was just at level 5 before. And it was capped at level 5. Now it's not capped, and it's uh, almost halfway to level 6. So, our new Guiding Lands level cap, I believe, is 6. I don't think we get 7. I think we have to uh, 
get to a new master rank uh, barrier before we can get to level 7 in the Guiding Lands. just a level one uh, in the world of tempered so it just gives us a uh, the slog bone instead of the solid bone and it should give us a, a spirit vein shards instead of gems Same new nerf, but I just mean the Iceborne nerf, where like there's uh, you have less invincibility window, and uh, if you don't have uh, a certain level of the spirit gauge full, it won't work. Shoot, I forgot that's what he does now, and I'm stuck because of course I am. No uh, shards, huh? Surprising. I don't remember shards being that rare.
I wasn't expected. any better. Stupid Gajalaka. Thank you, Shadow. Oh my god, so many materials. There we are. Spirit Fane Gem Shard. Rotted region just hit level five. I guess he's enraged. I wasn't paying attention to that. What is this crap? Why is he back?
take this guy down. He's not dead yet. Resilient to say the least. There we go. Alright, that's a tempered Rhino Ban and the Guiding Lands. on me. There we go. Okay. Uh, there should be a bone pile around there too. I need to grab that. There it is. Okay. Let's head back to camp real quick. Oh wait, we can't because there's angry gyros. Sorry, I was adding tempered red oban to my list. Go in here, let's restock, and then we'll see if we have anything we can summon to hunt. Probably do that great gear off, maybe. Because I'm not doing the cure and I just don't have the patience, nor do we have the time for this video. You should try to find as many special tracks as you can. I feel they'll lead to something good. Report investigation. Just gets us some stuff. Rod region. Yay. Okay. Rhino ban. Research is mixed, which is great. Alright. What can we lure out for the rotted region? So we got a great Garros. Could do an Oda Garone, which would probably show up tempered, honestly. Ooh, we could just summon an Acidic Glavinous as well. And that Acidic Glavinous could end up being tempered. You know, let's do Acidic Glavinous. Why not? Actually, no. We're going to do Oda Garone because we haven't fought one yet. City Glavinus on my own time. We haven't fought an Otogrown yet, so it makes sense to do that. Ooh, and it's tempered too. <laughs> 
What are the chances? Holy crap. Dear lord. This will be rough. He hits hard. Gems, which is nice. And spear vein solid bones. And I'm kind of glad that he left the freaking area here, because screw fighting things in this stupid miasma. Do the spirit the eye slash and I hit it late. Which sucks. I'm trying to get better about using that more because it's good if you, if you just have to be more patient than I normally am, but it's hard to change your combat habits when your normal habits are successful. It's not like I fail at quests or anything, so. But I am trying to get better. <laughs> Even if you're successful, you can always improve. Nothing wrong with that.
pick up slinger ammo and rages again. Of course. Uh, of course. Okay, lots of material. Still around. Thought I would have left by now. but I did at least not take damage. which is good. Away we go. Oh, of course it's going back down into the death trap area. Thanks, I'm on the ground. Well, he tired himself out because he kept moving around so much.
tooth and nail to the very end. Where's that other material? I know there's one around here, I just don't know where it is. There it is. Carve him, carve his tail, and then we will end the video. Oh, like Yana track, huh? Okay, lots of tempered rend claws. Did we just get another Legiana lure? We did. We got two Legiana lures from beating up on uh, Odegrome. That's hilarious. Seeing as they hunt Legiana. Grab the bone pile. Then we'll be all set. another bone pile up here. There isn't always, but sometimes there is. Alright. Not bad. like nourishing extract. Master rank 72. Coral region went up a little bit. Rotted region went up a bit more, but neither have hit six yet. Level six is important. Grab our research results, and then we will be done for this video, and I will be done for the night. And I will hopefully be able to record some more tomorrow. I'm not cleaning up. I am not cleaning up. Alright, so collected some more stuff. Probably. I just want to see. To conduct solid research, you need solid equipment. To create solid equipment, you need solid materials. I just want to see. Can we upgrade our Super's Bolt Slicer? No, but we can see what it's called now. So it's the Despo's Bolt Breaker. Uh, and it needs a uh, large Elder Dragon Jam. That's all we need left. The other item we needed was that uh, Spirit Vein Solid Bone. Unfortunately, it doesn't get a ton of purple sharpness, but it does get some. Um, but it's, it's basically the same that it had as the Usurper's Bolt Slicer Plus for purple, but it gets an extended white. Uh, it has a ton of thunder, and the raw is not bad. So this is one of those weapons where you might want to um, do some stuff with elemental damage, just because its elemental is just so freaking high. Um, but I wanted to see if we can augment our Glavinous weapon anymore. Because... We got some stuff that maybe was what we needed. Oh, we can add the uh, health regen augment to it now, too. It was tempered ren claw that we needed, and ink stained oil shell, blah, blah, blah. Oh, spirit vein slug bone. So, yeah, we got everything we needed. Um, so, that could be worthwhile. Let's go ahead and do that. We still can't do extra slots, though, because we need tempered great horn, which is probably from tempered bomboro. I would assume, because what do we need for this ancient great horn? Yeah, so tempered great horn. Uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and add health regen on here too, because we can. Because why not? It's nice to have at least one weapon augmented, even if it's not our best weapon by any means. All right, so that's where we're going to end for today. In the next video, uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. It depends on if I do any offline. Um, monster hunting or not uh now that we're running into tempered monsters i probably still can't do offline or off camera i guess uh guiding lands because you never know when something's gonna end up being tempered and we haven't fought it yet and i'm gonna have to be like hey guys let's go hunt this so 
Um, we'll probably still be doing more Guiding Lands because I want to max out the Guiding Lands for a couple of areas, uh, and you'll see why once I get to that point. So um, th that's probably what we, what we will be doing, so be prepared for that. Uh, in any case, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, please, well, I guess please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, you can do that by hitting that little thumbs up button. Uh, otherwise, you can subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell icon to get email updates when I upload new videos. And of course, you can leave any comments or suggestions in the area below the video. However, that is all I have for you today. So thank you so much for watching. And as usual, this is Zephyr, signing out.